is bear a strange fruit blood on the leaves and blood at the root black body swinging in the southern breeze strange fruit hanging from the poplar trees music was an important part of the civil rights movement and is a really important part of um, looking at social movements in general and how we mobilize people, bring people together, and move forward social change. So a lot of times we think about music as being highly emotive and having emotions and it feels good to sing and we like to do that but actually there's it's really a lot more powerful than just that there's so much more going on to it um, and so the role of music specifically within um, civil rights was it brought the group together and it gave the group a common voice it, it gave um, the groups that were coming together a common expression for their um, different experiences or even bringing a common frame for their experiences and helping them come together. Music really became like a fuel for the social movement. Oh, oh. Mm. I know Stax is a record company that is was in Memphis in the 1960s. It was actually started out to be a record store, and it was in a very kind of underprivileged um, neighborhood of Memphis, uh, a completely African American neighborhood. Um, and uh, they were oh, they were interested in country music, but then they started to. Um, I don't know, kind of listen to learn the taste of the people that were living actually around the record store. Individuals in the neighborhood um, were great musicians. In fact, Aretha Franklin was born in the same neighborhood. It's a little tiny part of Memphis, although she wasn't on stacks. But many uh, neighborhood musicians like um, Isaac Hayes, uh, Booker T, um, from Booker T and the MGs. So they actually came and just started performing together and making music together. And the thing that's really unique is that this was in the 1960s where the Jim Crow laws were still in full effect. You know, you couldn't, you couldn't eat together if you were a black person and a white person, you couldn't swim in the same pool. Um, but these, this record company had black and white people making music together. Now, with one of their biggest hits, here's Booker T and the MGs. of songs of resistance and songs of lament coming out of um, African-American music, all the way going back to the spirituals were songs of resistance to slavery, um, songs of lament. You know, Billie Holiday, I'm thinking of, in Strange Fruit was certainly a song of lament and resistance to um, lynchings and stories and those stories. So uh, throughout even the, the evolution of jazz and the evolution of the music industry coming out of the Harlem Renaissance, we see these same themes and that's really where we see uh, 
the role of African American music in um, cultural revitalization and in cultural um, voicing of experience.